I'm TJ with TAK Travels. Welcome to TAK Travels Presents Orlando Theme Parks Tips and Tricks Live. Uh, today we're going to go over Universal Studios, how to book, because it is a cumbersome website if you've never been there before. Definitely, if you're going to do Saudi Arabia, go over that, but would recommend Travel Asia because this website is a bit weird. Um, it's easy, but it's there's a couple things here and there you got to go over with. Um, I see we already have Anthony and BDF. Um, are in the house, which is big Disney fan. Thank you, too, for coming in. But no, some more will join us soon. Hope everybody's had a great week. But boy, oh boy, did we have a bunch of theme park news this week that dropped. Uh, but that's the first we want to go over. That's new format show. Last week, wasn't really too prepared. Didn't like the show. Probably would have redoing that show at some point, but happened, whatever. So I think we'll start off with some theme park news. So let me get everything prepped over here. Do -do -do. All right, let's get my share screen up. Oh, no, I want a little bigger. There we go. Okay, first news. Um, Disney World is sold out for spring break right now. That's right. If you are looking for a reservation to any of the four Disney World parks, you are completely out of luck right now. All four parks are at 35% still, so you had to make um, reservations in advance. What that means to normal people is that <laughs> You know, like I saw so right now with our vacation, we're, if we're in a group for Coronado Springs. We saw a couple who just paid off their vacation yesterday. Um, they're going they're going next month on, I think it's the week of April 6th, and the only park available is Epcot. And they're, like, angry about it. It's like everybody's out there. It's like, why did you travel agent go ahead and reserve? Because one thing with Disney, the second you put your $200 deposit down or whatever deposit is at that point, you can go ahead and make, make your reservations. Our reservations are set already because right now they're going to be at certain capacities all summer. It, they may increase a little from 35, but they're really right now from it depends on what the vaccine does. But remember, if you're booking a Disney vacation, make sure to you tell your TA to go ahead and reserve your parks or reserve your parks all on your own, use your My Experience app. We're going to, I'll go over that in the future episodes. I got to take a lot of screenshots for that. But make sure to do that because, like I said, I've just watched family where they're now having to rebook everything, flights, everything, because they didn't look ahead. And I part of me doesn't feel bad for them because literally they've been telling you to do this since Disney reopened with the pandemic. So, I mean, just make sure if you're planning on doing a Disney trip, the second you put your deposit down, um, reserve your stuff. Let's see. Next thing. The other big news is Remy's Ratatouille has finally got a opening date. Yes, the um, the brand new ride at Epcot, some France Pavilion, is going to be opening October first, twenty twenty one. And the other thing is Epcot for the from October first till I think the following two weeks sold out in twenty minutes because the new ride is going to be the first new ride opening in the new pandemic era. So it's actually a ride. This will not be the first Rory's ride to There's always already one in Slim Paris. It's going to be a trackless ride, just like Mickey's Run Runaway Railroad over at um, Hollywood Studios. It basically follows Remy's um, ride through the kitchen during one scene of the movie, during one of the opening scenes of the movie. So you'll be in, you'll be following Remy as he runs through the French kitchen. So it's going to be a new ride. They're also or having Remy's new restaurant will open on the same day. But sadly, it is already sold out. But if you plan on going for that, go there, keep on checking. People do in, in reservation, so there's a chance you could get it. Hey, Adventures of Gaza, welcome in, buddy. Thank you. Having the Juba Brown, welcome in. Let's see, other news. Um, Disneyland Hotel, since we all know Disneyland, there's a chance they may open the, uh, next month. Disneyland Hotel, they're actually – possibly about to start taking res uh, reservations for the resorts there for the Disneyland Hotel. Um, they've already started taking some for DVC members, but they may start taking for the public at the for the end of April. Very, very, very soon. Hey, John for J. Travels, thank you for having me on your show earlier today. That was awesome. Now, next thing of Disney, this is something I got. This is a, I use a website for some of my research. I've been since on there since a kid called Screamscape.com. Hey, Anthony, buddy. Um, screamscape.com it's a great if you're looking for theme parks not just disney universal they cover all almost every disney every uh, theme park in the world 
Um, but they do a lot of rumor mills. Well, the rumor mill is that most likely Typhoon Lagoon will not be open this year and not till 2022. The reason being there is a major issue with the entire chlorine system for the entire wire park. So there's a chance they may have to gut a ton of pipes, re possibly have to redo the entire chlorine system. So there isn't, so it will most likely not be open until 2022. They still have Blizzard Beach, which is still a go. So, so hopefully they have that. But right now, it looks like no typhoon, no typhoon lagoon, no, no, no um, surfing classes in the big wave pool, nothing like that this year, sadly. Next on news is the Polynesian Resort finally pictures of the new Moana theme throughout throughout the resort. And if you didn't know already, the Polynesian has been closed since since the return from the pandemic. Um, they have been re pretty much it was up for a revamp already, but it's going a lot slower because the lack of employees right now, lack of contractors, all that stuff is happening right now. Sorry. So they have done some rethink. I did get some pictures to show y'all today. Uh, if you notice, the looks like the wallpaper is all um, Maui's tattoo, Maui's sleeve tattoo on his arm. You see a little Maui right there, the story going throughout the room. You see the carpet over here is a little bit more, it has a wood grain feel to it. Pretty much the hallway has this kind of three, the picture kind of expands, so it kind of made it look weird, but this right down here, the little flowers actually have a 3D effect, which if you had been hanging out one of the cantinas or the bar or having a Lapu Lapu, that may be a little weird walking through if you've had a little too many at Disney. Um, there picture room, you see the new wood grain. This is kind of, this is one of the balcony rooms they have there. Of course, the bathroom, you see more wood grain, bigger tub, bigger shower, ever, no curtain. I hate curtains. That's one thing I hate on cruise ships is curtains. And you got his and her sinks, fanny mirror, of course, all the good Disney product, Disney cleaning products right there. But that's it for there. Now, uh, changing gears to Universal Studios, they have officially announced Halloween Horror Nights should be a go this year. And it won't be just a couple of... Um, a couple houses open up during the day. They are planning to go for it this this fall, which Halloween Horror Nights is my jam. I used to when I was in high school, instead of having like a big party of friends or something like that, parents would let me get four or five friends. We go to Halloween Horror Nights. They get us hotel for a night. We go have a blast. And it's my favorite thing. My favorite specialty event of all the Orlando theme parks is Halloween Horror Nights. Uh, they also have went ahead and announced who will be the icon this year. If you don't know anything about this, this means that... Oh, wait, sorry. I'm trying to check this real quick. What is this? Okay, thank you. They always have an icon, basically the host. So last year, what they're doing is since we really didn't get a host this year, we just got two parks open and one, two houses open and one house only open for a day, we got the host. Pretty much they're, they're going to do the same thing for next year, which is... Beetlejuice, he will be the hostess with the most this year. If you didn't know, when they only had the two um, houses open this year, they opened up Beetlejuice on Halloween Day for one reason. It was because in the contract with, to keep the intellectual property, they had to open a house for at least one day during the what should have been the Halloween Horror Nights Day. So they picked one day to open. So this house is still ready to go. So basically, they locked it up, kept it. They're going to refurbish it about a couple, you know, they're going to refurbish it all summer to keep it keep it good and spooky for everybody. But Beetlejuice will be the icon. They are bringing, they haven't said the amount of our houses yet, scare zones, any of that yet. But the fact that we're saying, yeah, we're going to do this is a good sign for things to happen. Hopefully, with the vaccine doing well, this is something we could go a little further and do. So that's one thing I'm really excited about because, again, Kayla get. Between you and I, Kayla gets a fall break. If Harvey C gets canceled, I'm going there. <laughs> All right, next thing. So today's say we did Walt Disney World last week. So this week, I thought we'd do the other part, Universe 2. If you notice, I got my Gryffindor hat, Gryffindor shirt, which is all for Quidditch. Also got my wand for my boy Snape, RIP buddy. Well, let me talk about that. Of course, you have to start with the Globes. That's the most iconic thing. I remember growing up as a kid watching Nickelodeon for all the game shows they had where it was Double Dare Guts, whatnot. You always saw the universe, you know, Philly, Universal Suits all showed you the Globe right there. And of course, the background, we see the, the Light Tower Finals Adventure and the boat for Margaritaville. 
So the first thing is what is Universe Studios? Well, Universe Studios is separated into that what is now three major parks. About to be four two years though. But as of right now, you have the OG original park, Universal Studios, Florida. You have Islands of Adventure, and you have their newest park, which is Volcano Bay, which is their water park, which actually is really cool. We didn't get to go in December because, of course, it was December. You're not going to have water parks open in December. Don't really want to get the C word or the motive. So that would happen. But also, on top of that, you do have an area to rival Disney Springs here. You have what's called City Walk, which is right down here. This is kind of like your restaurant shopping district. Tons of restaurants. I'm going to go over a little bit more about Lair Cuz with a meal plan because the one big thing there is about between Disney and Universal when you're picking up, when you're picking apart, especially if you're getting a meal plan, is not every, unlike Disney World, almost every restaurant is on the meal plan because it's on Disney. That's part of being on Disney property as a rule. A Universal, if it's a chain or if it's not owned by Universal, outside of a couple oddballs here and there, you won't be able to use your meal plan there. So that's worth it. Also, you got multiple hotels. Now, right now, what is open? Oh, sorry. Was open right now. You have Endless Summer, which is where Kayla and I say we stayed here on Surfside, right here. You have Royal Pacific, where if not, we have Royal Pacific right here. You have Portofino Bay. You have Hard Rock. They just reopened Sapphire Falls. And you have Cabana Bay. Adventura is still closed at the moment. Hopefully, reopened soon, but they're not. Where, where they can capacity-wise open that hotel yet. That was actually the, actually the hotel. I really want to stay at Sapphire. I just like the way it looks. It's priced under deluxe, above a moderate. So, but anywho, so you basically have these hotels. The difference between them, Cabana Bay, Sapphire Falls, Endless Summer is more of your value hotel. Same thing with Cabana, Cabana Bay, Adventure, and Sapphire Falls would be more of your, I guess, compared to these, would be more your moderate. And then Royal Pacific, Port of people at Hard Rock are your deluxe hotels. Now, with Universal, you do get an add bonus of getting a Royal Pacific, getting into a deluxe hotel. You get fast, free fast passes every day to at least what's one per ride. So, because Universal, unlike Disney, Disney still doesn't have fast passes, Universal does. And you pretty much there's two ways to get them either you go stay at one of these hotels, or later I'm going to show you how you buy them. Too, if you're going to stay at Endless Summer, Sapphire, Cabana Bay, or an off site hotel. But that's pretty much the lay of the land right here. And we're going to use go back this a couple times. So the next thing, we're going to show you how to navigate the website. The website is a little tricky. Um, it's, it can't, it's sometimes it's not the most user friendly, I would say, especially comparing it to Disney's. Um, it can be a little tricky. So, but the other thing we're going to see is the price difference. Um, that's the reason why you would stay here over at Disney. If you're on a budget, it's kind of like what the turn us why we did go to Disney in December was because we went to, if you found, if you take our flights, because we had, as you all probably know by now, as I've said a million times, we had flights, two canceled flights to LA, to Los Angeles that we use, that we used to actually, we use for Universal, now we use the second set for Disney. We basically had to burn them, so we had, luckily we had got time to burn these too. But we went to Universal just because it was priced. That's the reason why we didn't go to Disney because Disney was going to be more than what the cruiser is supposed to be on. So we're going there in the high season like that. So, but Universal is always cheaper. And the other thing about Universal compared to Disney, now Disney just started running deals. Universal always has a special going on, which is great. This is a great thing, like I said. Now I'm going to show you the biggest special going on right now, and then I'm going to show you even another way to save even more money. So let's go over to the website real quick. So let me pull it up. Let me get some things out here real quick. Do -do. All right, so let's pull up the website. Okay, so this is universalorlando.com. This is the main page. You see, we got the Veloc Coaster, which is a new roller coaster. We got Mardi Gras going on. Still kind of weird. I live in Louisiana. We don't have Mardi Gras yet. They have it in Orlando, Florida. Weird. And it's in Lynn. They're still doing it. That's their thing. Weird. So when you come here, the first thing, of course, uh, let's get the C word out here. I don't even like seeing that word. When you come here, you got me, you know, of course. All your kind of pop items, where it's Mardi Gras for himself, four day for that. We're gonna look at that in a second. But you got booked by April 19th. So we're gonna scroll down. Now you see there's all these special offers. Now, what we want to do is go all the way down 
to deals and or sorry vacation packages where we want to go right now so you're going to click there now this is the big deal going on right here it's 40 percent four day four night vacation package 1388 a month 1388 uh, for the entire for a family of four at cabana bay resort which is actually a steal so let's do this let's book now let's compare it to mine as you know as you know my vacation right now at disney is right at we'll round up the 2400 well actually i'm sorry yes yeah, right at 2400 25 technically so we'll say 25 so what we'll do we'll go in here we'll pick our dates which my dates are i'm doing the sixth through the 12th we got two adults now see here you can do hotel tickets you can also do hair hotel tickets also um if you do the air i would oh hey sean from downers how are you doing buddy um i would recommend looking prices on air here plus doing yourself look at the air prices online right now a lot of the airlines especially southwest has great deals getting into mco right now so which is the orlando airport you want to go into on this so we're going to stay away from that for right now because we're not really looking at air and that's a price that fluctuates it depends on who you like flying with of course so we're going to hit search wherever you hit search here it's going to bring up big old hulk right here or and office prime they always have chat now, which we're not going to chat with anybody at the moment. Okay, so they got right here, Universal Cabana Bay Beach, 6 or 12, two park, two park, five-day park-to-park vacation promo dated, early admission to park, which you get that any on-site resort, and parochial savings applied for 14, $1443.74. Now, the only thing we would add to this, if I was you, would you go over here to activities? Now, the ticket, you're not going to beat that price. You're really not. If you notice, these are for, per person right here, over here. 503 for two people for park to park is a steal for that many days. Let's see. We're going to go to Express. Now, one thing, like I said, we can click over on Express Passes, and you can do one park one day, but if you notice, that's per person per day so that's what that could be a little expensive right now realistically if you're not a big harry potter fan or if you don't mind going early to hit some of the harry potter rides you want to hit or multiple days to do it unless you're staying at a deluxe resort i really want to get these because all the other rides Disney don't have that bit i mean at universal don't have that big of a line right now trust me from experience and also their wait times it's not like disney where they finally got theirs accurate wait times if it says 90 minutes on the ride it's actually 45 minutes because the algorithm's off so you can get these if you if you want to spend the extra cash to me i wouldn't recommend it because that's gonna be an extra 200 almost 200 dollars a day just so you just so you can get on a 15 minute wait per ride every day I can see if you want to use it one day because you can date these two, but yeah, so I'm saying deluxe, I'll do that. We're going to go over that a little bit too. The biggest thing I want to look at is over here on the extras, which a leaky cauldron, three broomstick, three broomstick. Those are both Harry Potter places. You know, so where my Gryffindor shirt today, Quidditch. I'm a keeper ass seeker because I'm a dual threat at Quidditch. Um, they got a Diagon Alley and Hogsmeade. It's a great experience. I prefer Leaky Cauldron just because they have more of the animation going on there. To me, I like the food better. One thing that's weird there, there is no soda or anything there. Um, it's all pretty much like fruit juices, different cocktails, butter beer. They actually have Dragon Scale and a Hog's Mead beer. That I tried the Dragon Scale. It's so good. Uh, both beers are amazing. Now, under that, I'm a, or this, we do have the dying plan. This one right here does pay for itself. We got that on ours. It's basically a point system. Basically, way it's set up, you have a point per day for a sit-down place, a point per day for a quick service, and I think it was something like a point, a point, two points per day for snack or drink. So we pretty much, um, 
we pretty much um, used that. We actually left a stack on the table, but we got our money back after because we decided we're going to do, we're going to eat the most expensive places for sit down. And if we ordered at Quick Store, we bought as much food as we can and we bring it back to the hotel if we had anything extra. So when, even though, yes, at 69, it's hard dollars about $140 per day, it's worth every penny. Trust me on that. The only weird thing with that is kind of like what I said in the beginning. If we go back, into here, I'll make this a little bigger real quick for everybody. Not all the restaurants observe it. Like Hard Rock Cafe does not use the meal plan. Um, Pat O'Brien's is not used to meal plan. But pretty much if it's inside the park, you're covered. But outside in City Walk, um, you can use it at Margaritaville. You can use it at NBC um, Sports. You can use it at Cowfish. Um, sorry, spam risk. Use that cowfish. There's a Italian restaurant or cowfish. I can't remember the name at the moment. Um, but they also have like these little like a Burger King, Moe's Cafe. You can't use any there, any of those, sadly. But that's the only big difference I found between meal plans between Disney and Universal. The other big thing is you could actually use it here. That's one thing you that Disney does not have right now is a meal plan. Hey Trey, Eric B, what's up, buddy? How you doing? So that's their big thing. Then of course they got VIP tours. This is a when it says a non-private, that means you're a group, you're in a group walking all day. But it's three hundred fifty-one dollars per person. If you're a big baller, <laughs> they have the big VIP experience, which is thirty-eight hundred dollars a day. Is up to, that's that's for a group of up to five people. And also on top, you do have your photo passes, just like at Universal's, uh, just like at Disney World. With the pandemic, would highly, highly, highly recommend doing this because you want pictures while you're at the park, and but you don't want to be asking a stranger to hold your camera, hold your stuff. I would personally had a couple people ask us. We nicely said, "There, yeah, sorry, you know, if everything going on, I would definitely get this. That way, you're covered." And they got a lot of places where the cast members will actually. You know, there's not a cast member. You scan your little. They gave you a special card for it, and you scan. You scan on the barcode scanner. You take your picture. That's how we took our picture in Jurassic Park, by the time machine from Back to the Future, and a couple other things were like that, which was very, very neat. Let's see. That starting plan to do. They also, if you want to, do, they also this is for if you just get a gift card. If you want to do that route, I don't know why, because it's got to cast more. You also have Hollow Drive Golf. They do have mini golf here, which is a part of the whole our next show, which I'm going to. Before we close out today, then of course they have their version of um, travel insurance, which is cash for a reason, forty four dollars per person. With a pandemic, get travel insurance. Make sure you get your money back. Make sure it ain't credit. That's all I'm gonna say about that. <laughs> so we get all that done. We go back here. Now let's go to transportation. Well, I gotta click that little thing right there. Okay. This is a good buy. Now, unlike Disney, where they give you the Magical Express for free until the end of this year, you have to pay through Universal use the Superstar Shuttle. Um, it's, it's actually got a price this week. It was $35. So it went up $4. It's $39 per person for a round trip or $23 if, for one way, whether it's to or from the airport. The $39 is a good deal. Um, it was nice getting off... Um, Pretty much if you're in Section A, if you're in pick up your bags in Gate A at MCO, you're going to go down the stairs. You're going to go, you're pretty much going to go downstairs, go to the luggage, get your luggage, go down there, fly stairs. You go to Universal Kiosk, they give you this little nice little holder. You walk up to the butt, you walk up to the little shuttle. Um, they say, they say my name, who you are. Hello, Bride family. They welcome you on the bus and you go, it's a, it's a smaller bus. So you're not really crammed with a bunch of people and Depending on what hotel, luckily, if you're in the summer, you will, that will be the first stop, which that was ours. And the bus drivers are very, very nice guys. Uh, all of them were very nice, very prompt, too, and very on time. They had to pick us up at 5 o'clock in the morning to go back. Uh, no, I'm sorry, 4 30 morning on our flight back. And they were there. They called us at 4 o'clock. Like, hey, we're already here. And luckily, we were walking downstairs then. Now, pretty much, if we, now we're just going to add this because you would have to add that. I will see so $78. So we'll go check out. Now, see, it also tells you if you want to, how much per month it would be if you want to go and pay for it. So please wait. Let's see. Let's see. So 
start tickets there. So let's see with taxed everything. Now, see, once you get here, which is going to be a little different from the next thing I'm about to show you, is that breaks out if you want a little bit of upgrade a room, which just be okay that we'd be doing this. Do, 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 sake of this not there not being a special going on i will show you how to do it the other way okay so we're getting out here but again about a nine hundred dollar difference between my vacation at universal compared to disney world right now is where i'm at and i'm 900 in the bad part in the red so but it is i mean, i'm going to disney so you're always gonna pay a little more so let's do it like this now again this website can be tricky so if you go here, this is just going to be your deluxe resorts. This is going to be just for endless summer. And I actually have to admit, I had to play up this yesterday to, uh, you have to go customizable vacation. So we're going to start booking here. Again, we got our dates. We got two people. We're going to hit search. See our friend, the Hulk. Does anybody have any questions so far as we're going over this? I see J and N and Heaven Off's got a comment to her. Okay, so we're gonna go back in here. All right. Now this one says we just we actually found a little cheaper already from the get go. Because whatever you do is it shows the bundles gonna have some savings, which it has us on dockside and suite surfside. I think surfside's technically closed at the moment because right after we left, they closed surfside, put everybody in the dockside, which they're right off street from each other, like I said. Well, they got ten in the back of both, but guaranteed they're gonna put you over here. But let's see, you got Universal Cabana Bay. They got Low Sapphire, which was open. We went, but is now open. The point of difference between here, um, here is that you can use one of the gondolas to get to the resorts. But they got Hard Rock. You know, it's the price going up. But one thing, if you go down here, look at this. Now we have off-site hotels. You can book through through universal this is something you, you cannot really do at disney but disney you can't somewhat go online you can call them up and ask about like the hilt and the double tree to holly in but you can't book these online through disney the only difference when you go into these hotels here is that they're not on site you're not going to get the wizarding world of harry potter as party experience and you know you're not going to have the acts you're going to be waiting a little bit longer for buses and things of that nature so even though yes these are cheaper on paper you got to put that in the perspective is that it's gonna be a little longer for transport to the hope to the resort to the parks and everything you're not gonna have the extra 30 minutes wizard world harry potter which if you have harry potter fans in your family you're gonna want that because we can tell you from experience when we went to universal we went to pretty much road drop they were running to the parks in full robe if you don't know what that means, go watch Harry Potter see how the kids dress in the school. They were in full robe running with their little wands. So, <laughs> but like I said, they got a bunch of hotels. I used to actually stay this one, Double Tree, very very nice hotel. But if I paid fourteen thirty six, why would you? Well, I can stay on property at the same time. That's just I have credits there, something of that nature. But they have Fairfield in, Hilton in, Roseanne in. Avanti Parks, Avanti Resort, Best Western, Clarion, Club Wyndham. You guys got to get the picture. There's actually even more hotels than that. If I hit this button, Coco Key, Drury, Four Points, Hampton, Holiday Inn, which that's right across the street from Universal. I'll stay at that hotel as well. Home to Home Suites, The Hyatt, The Hyatt Palace, La Quinta, Mystic Residence Inn. Westgate, but like I said, if you're going here for the price you're going to pay, you're better off staying at Cabana or one of the endless summer resorts. Even though these are technically the value resorts, these are still very good. These are actually better than the value resorts at Disney. And I've been to both, <laughs> so that's one thing I can always tell. Okay, like for a value resort, this feels like a moderate at Disney. And also remember, if we go into these three, which is 
the Lowe's Royal Pacific, the Hard Rock, or a Porfido, these have an ad price, but you do get that extra, you got factor in, you get a fast pass every day. So factor in $200, take every day out minus $200 a day that you're staying there. So basically you're really paying 1800 you're paying, well, yeah, around $1,800 because a thousand of that's going to your fast passes for every day. So you can think of that too if you want to, Pretty much in your mind, put in while you're staying at a deluxe resort. Now, the Hard Rock Space is is a nice resort. <laughs> I've just got I had the luxury of staying in it one time. Um, it was beautiful. It, man, these if you ever stay in a Hard Rock uh, casino or anything, they are awesome. Love everything about them. It's one of my favorite. Because if I want to stay at a casino hotels, you see my go to is Hard Rock. But that's my parent. In Porto Bay, you feel like you're in Italy. It's very very well kept, very well good. They're deluxe for a reason. But for fun, let's say, let's pick Endless Summer. Let's have fun there. Now, again, you have your options here. The Stair 2 Queen was big enough. So they give you ticket options, which you can change up. Because right now, they're giving us a three-day, a three-part, four-day base park. Which, if you're going to Universal, you really don't want a base. You really don't want a base ticket. You want a park to park. The main reason for this is that is that there's a ride you won't be able to do it, which is the uh, which is the uh, Hogwarts, Hogwarts Express, which is a ride that connects. Yes, Jada, they do, yes, Jada, it does have the sand bottom pool. Yes, it does. It actually has underwater speakers in there, so you can keep a list of music too, as well. But like, go back to this. It says three day. You don't want that. You're gonna have to upgrade. So let's see if they have a oh, they do have a promo ticket. Two park, two day, two park, four day promo ticket dated. So we're gonna do view options here. Now for this trip, I will do a four day because I want a one thing we learned, you walk a lot at a theme park, just like I said on our Disney show. Your feet are gonna get tired and sore. Um I was dealing with sore feet. Kayla had blisters at one point. We kind of really wish we would have took it a day just to chill out and kind of rest our feet for a day. So I would do it for the seventh. Do it those four days. It doesn't count. This is what our starting day is. I would do it those two days. Dump out on Wednesday to go back there as a Friday fly home Saturday. That's how I would do it. Awesome, Sean. Well, you have a great day at work. Well, I'll see you later, buddy. So, now one thing with this site is now I have to go delete that out. Did I hit? So, we're going to remove this. Did I lose that? Now, I do have a three part and a two part. Three park is if you want to do the water park one day. Now, if I'm going to summer, if I'm staying at that resort, yes, I'm going to do. Actually, I'm going to do the water park mainly because mainly because of that Wednesday you can spend a chilly at the water park. So let's see what this made my deal. Fifteen thirty nine seventy two. Okay, about now get three parks. So we're going to go to our next page. Again, express passes, like I said, right now, with the way things are, do not recommend that. Wouldn't recommend leaky calls. So we're going to add this to the table. So we're going to do a 9 a.m. We'll do that on our first day. Add a cart, $30. Of course, the meal plan. We're going to want this for five days. Now it looks like a lot of money, but trust me, food is expensive at the parks. So this will pay, that's going to pay for itself. And of course, we're going to want this too. Now, this is only, you only need one. Now I'll charge you twice for it. Do. We bought, so we saved $125. We'll definitely get this right now. Mm 
we're going to do our transportation because, again, you're going to want this because it's actually more expensive. It's actually going to be for two people, it's actually going to be around $50, $60 to get from the airport to the hotel for the Uber right now. So we actually looked at We priced everything out and looked that up, too. So we're going to hit continue. So that's where we're at. We're at $25.44.60. So at the end of the day, I did do a three-part. I did actually five days of parks or well, four days of park for this one. I did five day universal dining plan, which was well, something I did get at Disney World, but I can get here. I saved a whole bundle of cash for any reason. I have early parking admission. I'm at $25.44. So technically, I'm at the same price as Disney. But, oh, wait, no, it looks like just Disney. Oh, that's not fair. Plus, I was did for, for our seminary code text. I get text from Disney a lot now. But technically, but yes. But if I was to add this meal plan to my Disney, I'm going up $1,000 about. So still a little more expensive technically, but this is basically $25,44,60. That's still not bad to go do, to go Universal Studios on. Uh, but we got it. We actually got a little cheaper, but we were spending a, a day less. This. We were only there technically technically six days because we showed up on a we showed up on a Monday no show up Sunday we left that left that Thursday we showed up Saturday left that Thursday my bad my bad so that's still not that bad so let's get out here so that's pretty much how you book there but there's always 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 specials like you can go through this like if you live in Florida they got bigger specials for you too um Pretty much, you always check out, always check retail me, uh, retail me dot. That is a great place to go to see if there's extra promo codes. There's not really going to be too many promo codes. But most of these places are a very, very upfront. The other thing they have here is you get extra savings on bundles the more nights you stay, of course. So we were at six days, but if I went on seven a day extra, I've got another seventy-five dollars off. So that's another thing you got to look at what doing here. There's also, they are also still doing annual passes. Uh, my sister, who she frequents University of Lost, she got an annual pass because, yes, it was $500 for it. But in the long run, it's going to save her money because let's see how much single day tickets are. Let's just, I'm curious on that. So let's go to park tickets. One day there is 109 at any of the parks. Let's go see how much a. Let's hit explore tickets. Let's say I want annual pass. This premier pass what I used to have when I lived in lived in uh, Florida. Five fifty dollar person, which realistically, yeah, that can't that could look a little expensive. But wait, is that regular? That's premier. Three nine four. The difference between these is like a power annual pass has some blackout dates. Um, that's a base a lot of difference. And also for premier, you actually get discounts on hotels. You get a lot of discounts. So out of that five fifty nine, it's got my sister's actually it's actually gonna pay her back because like I said, she goes almost every other month. She goes for the weekend with some friends of hers. So it's actually a good deal because if we look at the details in here, let's see, two part just discount, three part. She got all three parks. She got three months, free extra. So actually, she's getting fifteen months. It's me and yours. And she go whatever she wants. Now in the back of the car, when you go there, you could actually, you could actually look into. Let's see. Also, you can buy express passes right here. Then you got two doors. You got the unlimited plan, which means you go as many times you want, or you got. Let's see, these are only for one day. That's expensive. Shoot, that's a video game. So, does anybody have any questions about anything we went over today? Anybody? I'm going to get out there. Well, that's basically how to book a Universal trip. I'm hoping to have 
basically Todd will be next week over some stuff because next week we're having a very, very, very fun show. We're going to go over basically things to do with four adults at Disney and Universal. We're going to go over a bunch of cool bars, a bunch of cool activities, a bunch of different spas. We're going to do spas, bar, golf, fishing, things you wouldn't expect to be doing at either theme park, but people forget you can. So hope all of y'all enjoy today's show. Uh, we'll be back next week, same time at 4 o'clock, 4 o'clock Eastern for another TNK Travels Presents Universal or Uni Orlando Theme Parks Tips and Tricks. So I'll see you next week. Bye.